Oh yeah, party chat. Party chat. Again, I thought the crystals were these big things. That's what she said. You're a gift from the gods, my love. Are they going to talk about the original Bravely Default games? Are they somehow connected to this one? I think relationships should be a part of all role-playing games. Another party, Jen? So, like, if the two of them just keep talking... Your answer is, well, I'm with you, so everything is spectacular. So if you keep doing the party chats, you should be ca Ooh. you should be capable of continuing to build up their relationship. What's up there, Sally? Oh, sounds like an asterisk to me. That's you, right? Oh no, there we go. This is just terrible. I mean, what am I supposed to do? I know, pal, I know. But I think you've had enough for one day, don't you? Oh, what difference does it make? I just don't care anymore. Hey, there are children that are playing this game. Carry on like this. I tell you what, why don't I help you polish off that little law in front of you? A problem shared is a problem halved after all. Wait. How exactly is this going to solve anything? What do you mean? It's obvious, isn't it? He doesn't drink so much that he ends up regretting it. And I drink just enough to have a grand old time. Everyone's a winner. Never th imagined why drinking okay. and not knowing what you're doing so was fun. Who is this guy anyway? A, a friend of yours? Not really, no. I, I just ran into him in here and I thought I'd better not leave him by himself. Uh oh, watch out. Do, do you want to hear a story that will make your hair stand on it, boy? Uh, sure. If you think you can manage to tell it. My luck is just terrible. <laughs> Awful. Huh? It's because you don't live my life, pal. The water's trying to rise. And that messed all the tides up. And that meant that the fish moved. Which meant there were none to be had in my usual fishing spot. You think that was bad enough, but things got <laughs> worse. I was making my way home, empty-handed, when I was attacked by a snagger. Is it a haver? It's a haggin. Obviously, I ran for my life, but I was so panicked that I dropped my precious knife. It's a very special knife. See, my master gave it to me when I became a fully <laughs> fledged fisherman. A gift from your master, eh? Then we have to get it back for you. Hey, don't worry, pal. I'm on it. No, no. I can't ask you to do that. That horrible monster carried it off and... Seriously, pal, don't worry about it. We can handle us a hagen or two. But... Look. This knife, your master gave it to you, right? It means a lot to you. And if it makes you feel better, I'll not be doing this for free. You can buy me a dram or two to say thanks. How about that? <laughs> well, yeah. All right, then. <laughs> Anything for a drink, huh? The Scottish accent just sounds like a, a drunken Englishman. All right, so... Yeah, I accepted that, so, okay. And the other one is... Hi, 
are my baby. Oh, get to help a fair maiden. All right. So where could he have gone? Yeah. Uh, let me see if I can go to my travel log. Okay, so... Oh, there you are. Hey, Mr. Sloan. I want to kind of get all these side quests done. Especially if they're a little bit more convenient than having to travel all over the universe. What am I, a messaging service? Do I look like freaking Hermes over here? Move, you, you old fuck. Old people, they're always in a rush until they're in your way. Then it's like, hey, I'm getting there. I want you. Okay, so. Well, I kind of reported back, so. Just, just in case you're wondering. Right, anybody else need some help? Just the drinker, and that's it. All right, let's go take care of that whole knife, knifey, stabby business. Ah, Dag and Selena deserted me. Pathetic cowards. Not only did they fail to secure the crystal, they did not even have the decency to come and tell me as much. <sighs> One simply cannot rely on mercenaries. The Hologradders went to great lengths to have me made Prime Minister. I dread to think what will become of me should I fail to keep my side of the bargain by bringing them the crystal. Oh, perhaps the time has come for more desperate measures. Hmm, oh, I'd like to take that asterisk from you, pal. Looks like Horton hears a hoe or something like that. Okay, so... Mm, let's go take care of this Sahagan. I'm not even sure what a Sahagan is. We have 17 chests. Oh, this way. Oh, by the... Down by the sea! What's that? <clears throat> oh, hello? Whoa! It's a monster! And you're a piece of ass. Oh, is not a monster! No way! It can talk! Please! Please! Don't hurt Truff! Truff is a monster, yes! But not a... What? How do I know? Surprised us, that's all. I never heard of talking monsters. Me either. The truth doesn't hurt humans. So please, don't hurt Truff. What if you don't pay your taxes or something? How do I know you're not bad? So, what are you doing out here all by yourself? I'd like to be doing you. You want to hear Truff's story? Oh, thank you. Oh, Truff is looking for someone. Someone who can cut tall grass. Uh, what do you mean exactly? Truff dropped a ring. <laughs> a precious, sparkly, shiny ring. By the way, that monster is dressed better than all of you. Must have money. Nothing. Aye, the grass will definitely get in the way of that. Yeah. Talk about looking for a needle in a haystack. I got a needle I'd like to put in your haystack. Someone to cut the grass so you can find this ring? Yes! Someone with a weapon like yours! Yes! You could do it! And do it? Uh. I 
I guess we could, but... You, you will help Truff? <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you! Truff has asked so many humans to help, but they all ran away. You are the only ones who have listened. Aye, well, they were probably just a wee bit shocked, that's all. Uh, like we said, uh, talking monsters aren't exactly common. Well, anyway, we know you're not a bad monster now. How do I know that? Let's get mowing. Where do you think we should start? Okay. Dungeon, who knows what kind of excitement. Maybe I should have been doing that to boxes and stuff. No, I gotta do that now. There it is. I didn't realize you were forcing me to do it now. Is this your ring, Truff? Oh! Yes! That's it! That's it! Humans found it! Oh, thank goodness! I'm not so sure it'll fit you, though. Oh! Oh, it's not Truff's! It's for Truff's friend! Truff's friend, a human! What? You have a human friend? Yes, yes! He, he rescued Truff, then Truff and he became friends! Best friends! He's the one who taught Truff how to speak! So that's how you learned, huh? Nice. Well, don't go dropping the ring again, okay? <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! Just don't kiss me. Stop! Wait! What's the matter? They followed. Who did? Monsters? Yes! Monsters who want the ring, who love its shiny, shiny, shiny golden glow. They chased Truff. That's why Truff dropped the ring. Sounds like someone needs to teach this lot a lesson. But Truff can't fight. Especially not dressed like that. Humans can fight them for me, yes! Come on, let's sneak up on them. Uh, sure, I guess. Let's do it. Hey, we can sneak in this? Oh, okay, yeah, that. Oh, okay. I mean, I've been doing this the whole game. I Strike while the iron's hot. And it's just these guys. Why are we doing this quest now? <laughs> and he's still doing his thing, so. Here I go. Yeah! I kind of wanted to go with the other, but well, whatever. You rang? And... Yeah. No big deal. Yeah, when you have over 900 hit points, 15 is not going to do anything. Everyone okay? Yeah, that was garbage. Garbage experience points. I'm still trying to figure out how 17 chests are sprinkled all over here. Not a problem, Druff. You still have your ring, right? Yes, yes, Truff is never going to lose it again. But you'll give it to your friend when you find them, right? Yes, of course, of course, of course. Speaking of which, you never told us the whole story of how you met. Oh, Truff was hungry. So hungry, Truff thought he would die. Then a human came, gave Truff food. Mm. It was so delicious, and it saved Truff's life. The human told Truff so much about his kind, about cooking. And then, one day, he said it. You're my friend, Truff. <sighs> then he left, but he forgot his ring. So Truff decided to take it back to him. Wait, 
Do you know anything about this person? His name? A anything? Yeah, I was just thinking the same thing. Mitch is something called a traveling chef. And Truff remembers his face very well. If Truff sees his friend's face, he will know him right away. So, you're on a journey, but you don't know where you're headed, huh? Huh, I sometimes feel that way too. Well, good luck. I hope you find your friend. Thank you. Truff hopes so as well. Be careful out there, humans. Small experience orders. I might want to use those. Party chat. Party chat. Thank you. We're watching it. We're watching. Monsters. Well, I got two very special ladies with me. Yeah, I probably couldn't. I mean, if he used his his tusks, he might be okay. Now then. That way. It's that way. That's a person, that's not a monster. Okay, you Sahagan. Where the fuck are you? Running away, are you? How am I going to fight these things that keep running away? Aha! Gotcha! We've got the upper hand, guys! Let me see. Are you Sagans? Yes, you are. But does that mean... We're going to get what we need? You! You got what I need! So much for the orc. Yes, do what you want, my love. God, I want her. Uh... Thunder! Crash! Rumble! Wow. Okay. Oh, yes. Lunar powered. So that doesn't lose any, any oomph. Oh, Blizzara. Self-healing. God, I want sex with her. Hey, there we go. Looks like we found that fisherman's knife. Aye. Just look at that sea, eh? I seen it now, you'd never think it could rise up like it did. Yeah. The waves have died down some since the storm. But you should have seen it. I can imagine. Just goes to show how badly we need the crystals. Well, now that that's taken care of, I gotta see what self-healing is about. I'm sure it's a passive, but I would like to know if it's... Everything all right, Lady Emma? Hey, baby. Wind's picking up. My Looks God. like there's a storm brewing. Something's brewing in my you pants, don't baby. You seen yourself today, uh, if I may say so. I've been thinking about the past. Yeah, man, uh, I've been thinking about you. Something like that. Oof, my and God. It's been 50 years already. Aye, 50 years is up. Wait! Fifty years, uh, Lady Emma. Oh my God. If you they don't jiggle. Mind me asking, just how old are you? I do mind you asking, as it happens, you impertinent so and so. Tell him, baby. I am a lady, you know. That is true. Oh, um, uh, I, sorry. <laughs> you can smack him across the face. Not with your bowing and scraping, it's embarrassing. Not that I mind seeing you show a bit of respect every now and then. Oh my God. If you can manage to take things more seriously once in a while. We might make a half-decent scholar of you one day. I don't think I would ever walk when I was in your presence. I think I'd crawl the whole time. Wait, 
So, what does that make me now? Quarter decent. Ah, uh, third and a bit. <laughs> Come on, it's got to be at least a quarter. Not even close. Have you forgotten the mark you got in that last test? It was your lowest ever. Quarter's too good for you, you great knucklehead. Smack him. You've got a long, long way to go yet. And I got some long, long, all right, baby. But if I can cram one thing into your thick skull in the meantime... Oh, you can do more than that. When the storm comes, calamity will soon follow. My God. Can I make out with you, please? Leave it to Japan to have beautiful women in a game filled with big-headed puppets. I love you, Japan. You get me. You just get me. When the storm comes, calamity will soon follow. You are a lucky guy. Right. Better get this knife back to his rightful owner and claim our reward, eh? Well, I already got my reward. Couple of drinks, okay? Aye, just a couple. Come on, let's shake a leg. Oh, uh. Yeah, run away, you little pussy. Where are we going again? Yeah. Should we? Oh, should we? No, even you're running away. <laughs> so basically, I can't fight any monsters here. They'll just run away. Oh yeah, I gotta check. Hold on. Self healing. Cures poison. How many points do I have, by the way? It says that each passive costs one point, but how many points do I have? What I think would be a good idea is to max out the one that you want all the passives for. Hi, my baby. What's this? Hello, baby. Now everybody needs fucking help. Jeez. Here's your fucking knife, you cocksucker. No, stop talking to him. Yes. That's the one. That's my master's knife. Oh, thank you. Maybe I should splash some water on your face. So much. <laughs> Just like Was your master a hot woman like his? Sure, I guess. So, you said this was your master's knife? Uh, it's very special. The king himself gave it to him. He must have done something pretty amazing to deserve a gift like that. Oh, he did. He changed fishing forever. See, back when he started, all the fishermen were disorganized, disgraceful ruffians. Completely different than what we have now taught them to take pride in their work and gave them a real sense of purpose. The king was so impressed, he asked my master to become his fisheries minister. But my master refused. He didn't want to work in an office. He wanted to be out on the boats with the others. Choosing a life of hard graft over a cushy job with a posh title, eh? There's a lot to admire about that. There is. Is there? Come to think of it, the king said the same thing when he presented him with the knife. My master kept fishing until his dying day. And when he finally passed on, 
He left me his prized possession. How'd you get it? Keeps me safe out of the seas, it does. Your master sounds like a great man. <sighs> anyway, I owe you a drink. Many drinks, in fact. Tonight, <laughs> on me. Oh, thanks. So is what you ate for breakfast to keep this up. Just a couple, right? What are you suggesting? That we say no if it turns into more? And how's our pal here gonna feel about that, hmm? Uh, I guess you're right. Fine. That's the spirit! Marky, bring us a bottle of your most expensive... drug! Ha <laughs> ha! Now I'm talking to you, friend! Alright, complete. I don't get any experience points, just darts, huh? So like I was saying, you were saying, if you look, it's best to kind of max, I think the job max level is 10, 12. Okay, I think the job max level is 12. So like, once he learns all of these black magic spells, once she learns all of these, then we'll switch their, their classes. I, because eh, she's not going to learn any black magic. What party chat? It was the best of times, it was the bluest of times. God, I want you. Yes, my love. Whoops, okay. Tell him, baby. Well, I'm trying to complete all side quests, so... Oh, my baby. <laughs> What's got you so excited, Adele? Me? Oh, the innkeeper's been telling me about all the local cuisine. Did you know Halcyonia's famous for its food? I can't wait to try some. Well, I've got a big sausage in my pants if you want to put your mouth on something. What kind of food are we talking about here? All kinds. But seafood mainly. Shellfish and seasonal vegetable bouillon. A squid wrapped in seaweed. But the dish I like the sound of best is the silver smelt sautéed in lemon butter. Hmm. Silver smelt? People eat those things? You know what they are? Yeah, they're pretty rare. But sometimes they get tangled up in our nets. They look, well, kind of weird. The innkeeper's got a set. What kind of person would even think of taking a bite out of one of those? Hey, people eat gooey duck. But you wait till you taste one. Mmm. Nothing brings out that flavor like a knob of butter and a squeeze of lemon. Speaking of a knob. potatoes on the side, and there's simply nothing better. Oh, I have to try this. Sure, it sounds delicious, but silver smelt? Seriously? Do they really look all that disgusting? <laughs> Gosh! Now I really want to try some. Oh, you'll put disgusting things in your mouth, huh? I'm sold. I'll take the silver smelt and make it snappy. Ah, uh, there's just one thing, sorry. I should have mentioned this, but I got a little carried away. I'm afraid we're all out of butter. Have been for a while now. There's been word of a wolf on the road to the city, you see. The merchants we rely on are all too scared to make the trip. No ordinary wolf, mind you. 
they say it's the size of a small mountain and capable of eating a whole flock of sheep in one sitting. But if we get rid of it, you'll cook me some fish, right? Well, yes, I suppose, but... Say no more. One giant wolf pelt coming up. You've really never seen a silver smelt, huh? Oh, quit sniping. Everyone's a winner. No more wolf for these guys to worry about. And I get to try something new. Again, if you want to try something new. Come on. Where's the harm? Huh? Huh? You get pretty antsy when you're hungry. Hey! That's what everybody back home used to say. Who have you been talking to? <laughs> Fine. All right. Whereabouts can we find this wolf? On the North Road, if the rumors are to be believed. Great. Let's get out there and find it. For the sake of your livelihood. And Adele's stomach. Oh, I'd say the latter is your more immediate concern. <laughs> you too? Oh, fine. If you're going to be like that, I'll be outside. I'm sorry, my love. Oh, man. You can smack him in the face if you want. There's always that woman that loves eating and doesn't think about how much it costs. Okay, so we'll be right back and we'll take on some more side quests. I'll see you then.